Hello and welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers' Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. Welcome friends and neighbors. I always look forward to doing these comments videos because it's it's kind of a venting thing for me in a way. A vent to let a little steam off, I guess you could say. Because whether you know or you don't know, you know, I do have to uh, contend with some very contentious people from time to time who don't know anything about grammar and uh, just coming from different angles. And this is just a fun way to use rule one, rule equal, honor, grace, peace, neutrality, while at the same time, the same now space, uh, showing and demonstrating what Kuliana is, the energy that someone brings. You can monitor and observe my Kuliana to them, the response I give back to them. What kind of energy? Do I give them the same energy? Do I give them a different energy? Do I give them 10 times the amount of energy? Uh, it's just fun for me to... Oh, and one other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, some people were talking about that uh, audit I did of Leon Edwards, colon, Leon, colon, Edwards, Leon, colon, Leonardo, colon, Edwards. His video where that was called syntaxing with the Leon colon Edwards. Um, you see, it's my volition to warn people about individuals like that who claim to teach this stuff, but they don't know it. Maybe they don't know they don't. They don't know it. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure uh, Leon has a suspicion that he doesn't have closure on the grammar, I'm pretty sure. But all that aside, you know, I mean, it's okay to sell this book if you want to. I mean, it's, I'm not here to stop anybody from making a bag, but to misrepresent it, false advertising, that's not correct. And I take issue with that. My duty as a, as a tutor, I'm going to warn people about it. It's just like I told this guy that down in Florida who has a website that sells this book for $300. And people just, you know, he makes thousands of dollars a month. At least that's what he told me a year or two ago. And he offered to give me the website or to take over the website. And I said, no, because first of all, you don't know anything about grammar because he didn't. He doesn't, and he admitted it, doesn't know anything about correct sentence structure. And this is not a grammar manual. If you advertise it or marketed it as a historical document, I can get down with that. But as a correct sentence structure textbook, mm -mm. so the first comment comes from Lawrence Fontenot. And they say, for the, of the, by the, I use this in my reports. My boss rewrite the letters before he sends them to the customer. Frustrating. What benefits me knowing this tech? Well, you, you would be the one to answer that question if you're going to learn it. Uh, 
I can't tell you how it's going to benefit you. For me, uh, the benefits came from becoming a steward of my contracts, salvaging certain instruments, towing them in salvages and being correct. And of course, stopping bureaucratic trespass. Of people that are trying to take funds in value that they're not, they don't have any claim on. So that's what has been useful for me. For you, I don't know what it would benefit you. You'd have to answer that yourself. Next comment comes from someone named Jorgen Berenstein. And, ah, another one of these word game players, phonetically. Like, you would say these words he has there, and then you hear them phonetically. You don't know how they're spelled, spelled, but you can see the way they're spelled here. Sumerian. Suriname, listen, silent, amen, T, name it, rules, lures, lies, I don't know what that is, less, this, S-H-I-T, hits, secret history and translation, you bring your truth and I'll bring mine, and we both put it on the scale, Sumerian, Suriname, what they just said there makes absolutely no sense to me unless you're a poet or you like to play work games. I don't, you know, what the Sumerians did or didn't do have nothing to do with my everyday practical life that I live teaching correct sentence structure, communication, policy, syntax, grammar. And anyone who says otherwise can't prove it. But thanks for the uh, entertaining alliteration. Next comment comes from for the drama. Oh, I'm sorry. It's for the dharma. And they say, for the take of the last eye's bandage is with the help of the logic, with the view of the, for the Jason I. Matthew, of the glass videos with the focus by this port authority hyphen colon Eric colon Fertis. As this is a grammar channel, I will take a look at the mechanics of the sentence itself. As for what it says, I have no idea. So we have the cause for the take. We have concern of the last eye's bandage. I don't know what that is, and I see a particle of negation in eyes, a vowel in front of a consonant, means no contract. Then we have a verb and a possessive with the help. And then we have of the logic with the view of the videos. I didn't know that videos had a vision capacity, that videos can actually see, but I guess uh, the Jason Matthew Glass videos can view. No, in all seriousness, uh, let's take a real close look here. So the cause of the sentence is take. So take is the cause. What's the take concerned with? It's concerned with last eye's bandage. I don't know what that is. But whatever it is, the cause is taking. The take of something. Which I don't know what a take is. Like the take at the end of a night, at the end of a poker game. Uh, your take, I don't, I don't know what that is. With the help of the logic. So we have possessive help, which is possessing the last eyes, bandage, whatever that is. The help is concerned with the logic. What's possessing the logic? The view. What's the view concerned with? Who is doing the viewing? The Jason Matthew Glass videos. So again, that's what I'm saying. How, how do the videos, can the videos see? And then what's possessing the Jason Matthew Glass videos? The focus. And who's the authority of the focus? The port authority, Eric Fertes. Now, mechanically, nothing wrong with this sentence. Uh, as far as positional sequencing, the punctuation, some of the punctuation is incorrect. Well, most of the punctuation is incorrect, except for a few of the hyphens. Got particles of negation in the facts, misplaced colons, other than that, uh, that it is a pretty good effort. I'll just say this again. I've said it multiple times before. If you're a beginner, 
A very good base to start your sentence out would be, for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim. And then whatever you need to articulate, that would be what you're claiming. And then you go on with the rest of the sentence. But start with the base for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim. Can't go wrong with that. You really can't. Next comment comes from ESPI3095, and they say, Could you give me a clue where to look for quantum grammar in Spanish? I want to learn, but I can't find material in Spanish. Thanks for your attention. Uh, it's because I don't know where there would be any material in Spanish. I'm not aware of any written material in Spanish, and I'm not aware of any video material in Spanish. I do know there are Spanish groups that study my videos. I was just made aware of this by a gentleman who told me that he belongs to a group, I guess, well, I don't know how they do it, maybe in person and over overseas. They get together every weekend and spend a couple hours on my videos, uh, I guess, translating them to Spanish. So, but that that's just something I found out. As far as any written or audio material, I'm not aware. Tynri Music says, One's journey of the getting here is with a life's music background of the many friends on Facebook. Colon, support family first of the last career's work. Is passed with the consultant level of the IT field with the knowledge gain of the what it is foundations and observations. With the friends egos of a program, I am of the avoidance of the public social media programs. Emails and emails, venues, force closure. Uh, now time of lacking of a fear. I really... Placement of the messages in my music creations of this thinking. Thanks, man. Yes, my grammar needs work is for the venue promote of an interest. Jonathan Simon Bell. I do think I just spoke with this gentleman not too long ago. Um, he's a cool guy. Again, what I would say to people who write like this, I would really appreciate it if you don't have closure on the grammar to just use plain, simple English to communicate. Because to me, this is much harder to try and figure out because it, it is like in the style that Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould uses where they just use like fiction babble and hyphenate it to make a compound fact. Like for example, um, many hyphen friends on hyphen Facebook. You would have to have a, a meaning, closure, a finite meaning for the word many, for the word friends, for the word on, and for the word Facebook in your dictionary. And then in turn, you would have to give a finite meaning for last hyphen careers hyphen work. Or, you know, support family first. What it is foundations. What is an it? You see what I'm saying? This is like the Russell J. Gould style, and I, it really gives me a headache. So that's why I kind of dropped off reading this. So if you don't have closure on the grammar, um, I'd appreciate you using plain, simple English, because hyphenating fiction babble mini sentences as your facts just doesn't cut it here on this grammar channel. It may cut it over there in Russell J. Gould land, but not here. Next up, we have Jerry Martin Curley, who I know has been involved or in and out of the quantum grammar domain for quite a few years now. I'm not sure that we ever did a workshop or not, but he was, he's one of those individuals that have always expressed interest in learning correct sentence structure, and they want to, they say, I'm going to get serious about it, but they just kind of drop off and, and don't, which, you know, everybody's on their own personal learning curve. But I thought I'd just share that for the reason that, you know, I'm sure there are, he, he's not alone. I mean, I'm sure there's like, the majority of people are probably like that. That's why I always say the 1% of the 1% of the 1% are going to learn this. The ones that are super committed to it, that are adamant about it and motivated. So Jerry says, over the years I have shared your content on Facebook, but in my humble opinion, people are lazy and stuck in the fiction. 
If I bring up correct sentence structure to family or friends or work colleagues, the blinders come down with a sharp, I'm not interested. It's a lonely road for sure. Well, to give Koliana to that, Jerry, I would say that, and I've said this before, if you don't have closure in the grammar and you try to talk about it with someone else in any type of authoritative manner, or if you want to be convincing about it, but you don't have closure on it, they're probably not going to be interested because they're going to think you're cuckoo. But if you know what you're talking about, if you've actually used this stuff, been successful with it, and you have closure on it, then there will probably be a different type of reaction to what you're saying. But if you don't have closure in the grammar, it's probably not going to work out. And then Tin, Re, Tin Rib Music says, lazy or ignorant by the program, perhaps. All the best on that road, Jerry. For being... Loan is with the bonus of a findings, finding self's truth. Uh, oh, I guess that's a little uh, life advice there. I guess you're being alone. You get the bonus of finding yourself's truth. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I mean, you can find self's truth with others. I mean, but... Uh, Anyways, I think that's a, a positive performance comment there. And thanks for the membership, Tin Rib Music. I appreciate your support. Another one from Tin Rib Music, and they say, colon in single space, nulled, nulled, knowledge. Sorry. That's weird that it didn't, uh, hit, you know, didn't hit return at the, hyphen it did it at the d so it's single space knowledge at the front of the name word colon and single space knowledge at the front of the name word giving the first colon's function changing for or of which then converts the sentence next colon of or with is with a massive learn for me on this oh one more time I'm, i can't say this enough and i've said it ad nauseum if you don't know correct sentence structure, please write in plain, simple English. Because as you can see, me struggling through that sentence, trying to figure out what they're talking about. Colon and single space knowledge at the front of a name word. An easier way to say that would perhaps be if you start with a colon, a space, and then your fact. At the beginning of the sentence, it's not correct. Other colon learning on these videos is the attention with the underline of the colon. This changes everything. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And that is actually Jonathan Simon Bell, which I didn't notice before. So I said it again about the using plain, simple English if you don't have closure. So uh, sorry for the repetition there. Um, yeah, you got to pay attention to your punctuation, your spacing and what it is you're underlining and why you're underlining or bottom lining it. Next comment comes from a long time viewer, Rosvan, and they say, the way she relates back to chief, not the chief using it as a name and not a title of respect. So I can reasonably guess she is marketing the RJG authority without believing it herself. Uh, well, that's a very interesting viewpoint. I hadn't even thought of it that way, but definitely interesting I know that uh, I know that they're making some stacks over there with their patreon and all that their private little uh, interviews they have or or audiences with the Chiefs so yeah possibility next comment comes from Judy Cox and they say no Russell please lol that's funny and then JS24 HP says so they've made it Similar to Scientology with never ending pay levels to keep buying into gross. Also like rising up the levels of Freemasonry. Um, well, I don't know if it's like rising up the levels of Freemasonry because I'm not a Mason. Uh, I don't personally know or are friends, am friends with a Mason. 
I just know what I've read, and I don't think it's like rising up through the levels of masonry. I think that uh, masons pay dues, and it doesn't matter what level you are. I don't think your dues go up uh, as you rise up through the levels, the degrees. I think the the dues stay the same. And, I mean, you could probably get to a third degree master mason and be in masonry for five years, maybe. I'm just saying this in theory because I don't know. But then you could also go up to a 33 degree mason in five years. It just depends upon how fast you learn and how good of a yes man you are. Next comment comes from Horace Size. Horace Size. And they say she hasn't been feeling the vibe because of a lot of timelines crossing. And yeah, you know, that's re. That's, uh, being cheeky about Rachel Dara Prince talking about how she hasn't been doing live streams because she hasn't been feeling the vibes because she's having timelines. She's in the middle of the timelines crossing, I guess. And uh, I guess it maybe uh, threw her off her square. She lost sight of the Eastern Star. and uh, But now she's back. Next comment comes from Yvonne. And he says, gracias. And I say, de nada. Thank you very much for that donation. I appreciate each and every one of you that donate gifts to help keep this channel afloat. Because as you know, last December I was about to pack it in because it just wasn't, uh, well, it just wasn't feasible for me to keep doing it. It didn't seem like it. It's a, it's a very harrowing existence, let's put it that way. Thank you for your support. Next comment comes from Snook Loop. And they say about Rachel Dara Prince, what planet is that woman on? <laughs> Next comment comes from The Learner, and they say, hello, Jason. So, that's weird how they put two adverb verb adjective pronoun words there. And then put the rest in brackets and quotations can you please correct the DWM booklet then send it to the members for a fee as it is not a copyright violation because your correctness are not in the original DWM booklet and therefore you are in the clear or not listening to Leon was embarrassing enough uh, I'm gonna focus on the first question which is, no, absolutely not. I wouldn't even consider doing anything like that unless someone wants to pay me $800 an hour to do that. Then, then I would do it. But other than that, no, I wouldn't do that. I don't want to get caught in that mess. Um, besides, I'm, I'm working on my own textbook, which is correct sentence structure, also translated into plain, simple English. But that probably will not be published for another six years or so. Unless someone out there wants to finance it for me. Maybe some of you can get together and start a you know, donation pool. And if you can cover, you know, uh, bills, food, you know, medical expenses or whatever else I need to have that I would usually cover by doing something else I would have to give up doing that something else and just work on this book all day and that would take away from me you know contributing value to the house so that would have to be made up for I can't just do it I mean I wish I could just sit there and just uh, work on this book and not do anything else but then myself and everyone around we were probably start getting a little hungry after the first half a day or so but uh send it to members for a fee members of what that's the thing i wanted to ask the learner i don't uh, you're not a member of this channel i don't see a star by your name so i don't know what members you mean exactly um so and i wouldn't be worried about any copyright violation anyways your grammar has to be correct in order to have a correct sentence structure copyright. 
next comment comes from user whatever and they say what's that bloody noise we don't want to put up with that when dealing with a complex topic sounds like you're caging up a pterodactyl that's interesting they use a semicolon as an apostrophe it's, they are talking about the uh, scarlet macaw birdie it's a home companion of mine. They were making noise during that video you see in that corner right there. And then they say, we don't want to put up with that. Who's we? Do you have some multiple personalities in there that you're speaking for? Because I don't know who else you're just speaking for. We. <laughs> we likes it, precious. Is this that type of situation? But dealing with a complex topic. Well, complex topic, that's... Uh, totally subjective. I mean, it may be complex for you, but for others, maybe not so much. Sounds like you're caging up a pterodactyl. No, absolutely not. Although Birdie could be considered a uh, distant relative of a pterodactyl. But uh, Birdie has as much freedom as uh, he can possibly have without hurting himself. I can promise you that. Thanks for the wonderful comment also no one's twisting your arm to be here buddy another one from colon jonathan hyphen simon and he says thanks for your superb work jason your work helps and gives clear possibility to correct ourselves if unfortunate to find and incorrectly learn a wrong grammar tutor's knowledge your videos of corrections are with honor and grace giving help and choice of bad grammar students who don't know some knowing to fix their mistakes, wrongs, if they choose to do so. Fixing wrongs in knowledge, particularly any wrong self-taught or third-party taught grammar for me, is my duty. Fixing wrongs in knowledge, particularly any wrong self-taught or third-party taught grammar for me, is my duty. I'm not sure if Jonathan is saying it's his duty to fix wrongs and knowledge of other people or for himself if it's the former then that's a trespass and that's not correct volition if it's the latter then yes of course you always want to correct yourself um, the reason why I do those videos like I did about colon Leonardo colon Edwards is because I just want to warn people make people aware of possible potential landmines and and things where people, you know, shipwrecks could happen. Because if you learn something incorrectly, and then you think that you know what you're doing, and then you go and try and use it, and then you end up in jail, and you're wondering why, well, you will probably find out the hard way. But as you can see in this comment, Jonathan chilled out on the Russell J. Gould style of, of writing, and is basically writing in a more plain, simple English manner, which I appreciate. Thank you for honoring the terms and conditions of this vessel, Jonathan. And thank you for your membership as well. Last comment comes from Adriana Hernandez, and they say, Was DWM a Mason? I get this question a lot. Okay, so Colin David Eiffelwein, Colin Miller, the late uh, gentleman, who brought correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar to the public in 1988 and passed away in the summer solstice of 2018, claimed in multiple videos that he was a 92nd degree Mason. And his closure on why he was a 92nd degree Mason was that he had a very old copy of the book Secret Teachings of All Ages by Manly P. Hall and I think he said it was like this tall from the floor, like it was huge. And he syntaxed it. And because he syntaxed it, he's a 92nd degree Mason in knowledge. He has said this multiple times. I don't know if it's true or not. I can't certify it. I just know that he claimed it. And he made no secret of it. Also, uh, there have been witness reports that his mother was an Eastern star and his father was a Mason. So it makes sense that, yes, he would be involved in that in some way, shape, or form. I also keep this in mind. 
don't forget this, ever. Russell J. Gould was David Wynn Miller's student, apprentice, and partner for many, 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 many years. Right up until about a year before David passed. During that time, David Wynn Miller made no secret that he was a Freemason. Russell knew that David was a Freemason and yet still, you know, stood by him, uh, supported him. Russell has come out and said that this book is not correct, which he's right, it's not correct grammatically. But yet, for years and years, David sold this book, brought it to seminars, and Russell was there and didn't say a word. I could go on and on about the contradictions and dichotomies, but why? I've done it so many times before. I appreciate you watching. If you want to learn this grammar, you're well, more than welcome to study the over 600 videos on this channel that I've invested thousands of hours in creating. It's free to you. Or, if you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like. And I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the Subscribe button. Hit the Like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.